What's going on everybody? C4 here and it is decision day for our Road to Glory. Uh, the last video had you guys uh, vote in a poll. We had well over 3,000 total votes so that was well beyond what I thought we were going to get. And essentially there was an undisputed number one team. I was kind of like hoping that that was going to be the case. I didn't want there to be like three or four teams that were almost like a deadlock and then we'd have to you know make a tough decision. I mean, that might have been a little bit more interesting to try to actually, like, for me, put the onus on me to pick the team. But ultimately, I think when you guys have a undisputed champion that you want to see me play for, it's always better. I think there was close, over 15 total options. We're going we're gonna to build the anticipation. I don't know if you guys can see the results in the poll, but a lot of you probably don't know. Uh, so at number 10, after speaking with my family, with my influencers, you guys got at me. And you, and you guys are telling me I had all these offers, all these scholarships with varying depth chart responsibilities. Fourth string, third string, second string, some jobs offering me the RB1 spot. So at number 10, we have... I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just going gonna, gonna to look stupid if I look off camera. That's probably why the face cam sucks because I have my TV off the side. And... Uh, I'll, I'll, actually, the delay's not bad on the uh, on the old OBS here. So number 25 was Utah. You know, I thought about it. We had some uh, Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saint people, Mormons, come to my door, try to tell me, like, if you want, come to Utah, the great state of Utah. You know, Salt Lake City's really nice. And, you know, you can... I'm, like, I'm not religious. I'm not... A, I don't hate. I don't discriminate. You do what you do. But that, that ain't for me. So Utah coming in at number 10. I think you guys felt roughly the same. Number 9 was Hawaii. We're not going to find Hawaii. I, you know, I thought it was interesting to throw Hawaii in there. Uh, we actually had an unnamed offer here from uh, North Dakota State, but they're not in the game. And I said, I mean, I need bigger than that. I want to go to the NFL. I mean, Carson Wentz no longer there. I don't know. So uh, so number, uh, number 11, we'll say, was North Dakota State, which uh, we may bring a dynasty back. Who knows? Uh, number 10 was Utah. Number 9 was Hawaii. Number 8 was number 17, the Louisville Cardinal. Could have go play with Lamar Jackson. These are real rosters that we're playing with, and we're acting like I'm playing in uh, the 2017-2018 the college season. And Lamar Jackson was still there. There was a lot of uh, promise to this, but Lamar Jackson's declaring in the NFL, and I don't see a lot of talent outside of Lamar Jackson. So I said, nah, I, I, don't, I don't want Louisville. Uh, number seven, we had, uh, you know, actually, oddly enough, the seventh ranked team, Washington, the Washington Huskies. I, I just, I don't like the time difference. It's too far away. It's literally on the opposite side of the country. I was, yeah, it's too far. It's rainy. It rains where I live right now. I mean, the, the city, the culture, that, that's, that's a pass for Washington. Number six was number 29. We could have went to the land where Tory Wilson that's, that's why I heavily consider them, because that's where Tory Wilson is from, Boise, Idaho. We had Boise State Broncos to play in the blue field, but ultimately I thought it was kind of gimmicky. I like the jerseys. I could have been the next great Jay Jai, but I, I felt ultimately, I, you know, Boise, eh, I, I can't get over the years they had Kellen Moore there. I mean, I, I love the Fiesta Bowl. The Fiesta Bowl win over Oklahoma is, one, is probably my favorite college football game of all time, you know, after not including Florida Gator National Championships, but uh, that, that couldn't happen. Uh, number five, this was one I actually thought when I when I put it out, you guys would influence me here because they they have notorious boosters, and that was the Miami Hurricanes. And I went, nah, you know, I would have been open to going to the U, throw up to the U, but no, you guys didn't want that. They get number five. At number four was the biggest school, probably in terms of reputation and all that stuff, offering me the running back one spot, and that was Nebraska, the Cornhuskers. I could have stepped in and been the next. Uh, I don't know, Melvin Gordon, if you will, but uh, you guys didn't really want to see me go to Nebraska. I was like, okay, well, damn. When I saw that, I was like, you guys want me to like grind my way up. You want me to maybe get a running back four spot, and then we follow my path to become said RB1. Number two, no, number three, sorry, was my Gators. I could have been, I got a scholarship. I got a free ride there, but I would have had to work my way up from the running back four spot all the way up to the starting gig. I was fine with that, but this has been there, done that. I've, you know, Florida. Just too much Florida. It's too much Florida already. What's the what's the new the new aspect of me being Florida? We are we are drawing this out, guys. I hope the anticipation is killing you. Number two was Stanford. They offered, I believe, running back two. So we would have been ahead of a two-headed running back attack with Bryce Love. I could have got on with that. The little homie. The little homie Bryce Love. 
but they weren't it. Oh, these, this was actually, a th oh, there's 100 points, 100 votes difference between number two Stanford and where we are going to go. Five minutes in, get to the damn point. Drum roll, please. Where I will be taking my talents, my family, I love them so much. I love my coaching staff to put me in the position to go to such school in America. Making the big trek from Canada. It is such a big transition. Learning CFL rules, going to American football rules. Where am I going to go? There is one undisputed winner. And there you have it, the bounce house. I'm coming, baby! I'm coming! The Knights! Undefeated season. They got Beast left, right, and center. They got Mackenzie Milton. They got Shaquem Griffin. They got Mike Hughes. We're good. It's RB1. 90, oh, they're 97th ranked when I looked at it. Wait, wait, how do I get to this? How do I get to this? This is another reason. I want to make them great. I know they're undefeated. I know they got incredibly disrespected. Came at number 12. Looking at the preseason polls. You know, see the Alabama, see some of the teams that we might have gone to. All the way down. At a number that is left for, like, good hockey players. UCF, with all B's across the board. 97th rank. Only three-star prestige. It's our opportunity, our time to shine, our time, my time, to make them the perennial players in Florida. I'm disrespected. I grew up a Gator fan my entire life. And they offered me a running back four spot. I dominated the Canadian football game. They showed no respect to me, no respect to my athletic abilities, and no respect to where I came from. UCF, before Scott Frost packed his bags and headed to Nebraska, he made the pitch of a lifetime. And this five, I'm not going to spin a Rooney here, but this five star recruit is going to take UCF, Mackenzie Milton. I don't know who to have a wide receiver yet. I don't need to know. All he needs to do is hand the damn ball off to me. We are going to take over Florida. I don't care about Joey Freshwater up there, Florida Atlantic. I don't care about Florida State. Are you kidding me? DeAndre Francois is weak sauce. Dude plays like a swamp donkey. Florida Gators, done. Forget you. UCF, USF, Charlie Strong, get out of here. Quentin Flowers, quarterback's five foot six. It's over. UCF, let's go. Bounce house. And scene. All right, guys. That is how we're going to wrap this one up. There's not going to be as big of a delay. I just wanted to leave uh, some space between the videos so that enough of you guys could vote. Like I said, almost, I think it was like 3,500 or something like that. People voted on the poll, which is absolutely insane. Uh, I'm very, very glad that you guys are really digging this series, which is which is pretty cool. Something I want to do for quite some time. I, um, there's, I have a couple ideas of how I can make this different. Uh, some plans to, to make it unlike any Road to Glory you guys have seen before. But for the most part, I want to get it rolling just with some generic episodes to get it established and get us set, excuse me, settled in as like a freshman. Um, but yeah, stay tuned. If this is your first time stopping by. Don't be afraid of that subscribe button. Any UCF Knight fans stopping by for the first time. It's going to be one hell of a whirlwind. Hopefully, by playing Zombie Nation, I'm not going to get uh, any demonetization or copyright claims. Whoever make that. But, uh, yeah, that was why, yeah. Like, subscribe, all that, you know, cheesy YouTube stuff. And until next time, it's C4. Saying peace.